In this video, we are going to look at the Submitter Review Process workflow. Like any other review process, Submitter Review Process is a process of collaborating two parties, Authorship Party and Review Team Party. The Authorship Party is led by the constructor. They are responsible to create the submittal items, attach the shop drawings, data sheets, product data, and other documents to each submittal. Then, they will bundle the submittal items to a package and then send the package to other side of the aisle. On the other hand, AE is the lead of the reviewer's party. They will receive the package and based on the submittal item disciplines, they will distribute the package to different subconsultants. After the submittal items are reviewed, AE will gather the review comments consolidate the responses, stamp the documents and drawings, and send the package back to the constructor. In the eBuilder terminology, this position is called Submittal Coordinator Role, which is very vital to keep the review process rolling. After the package is reviewed and received by the constructor, they will take corresponding actions, either close or revise and resubmit the items. Since the submitter review process is a highly collaborative process, able to try to make it as flexible and easy as possible. So, if for whatever reason you are not using your internal project management system in your office to engage your SOPs into this process, you can use eBuilder for that purpose. You can simply send the submittal items to your SOPs through eBuilder via email. They do not need to have an eBuilder license or account. That's why eBuilder called those users external users. But they can participate by email and help you to upload and attach documents to the submittal items. The external user collaboration is available for both two sides of the submittal review process. You can ask your subs to upload and attach documents to the submittal items if you are constructor. If you are AE, you can also assign your subs to the different submittal items. They can access the submittal item materials, they can review them, mark up the drawings, and then upload the drawings and comments back to the submittal item in eBuilder. The beauty of this process is their participation happens in real time. Whatever file they upload to the eBuilder or if they provide comment, that's real time, and they go to eBuilder instantaneously, and it can be viewed and reviewed by you also in real time as well. An entire process is seamless. It is very simple. I will show you how it works in the next videos.